Hi everyone, I'm Vittorio, game developer for PsychiPath. Today I want to show you how I made a falling and respawning mechanic that you can use for any kind of 2D game. Here you can see our main character Psyche get teleported back uh, as soon as she touches those spikes. Let's see how that works. So the fader is the first component responsible for uh, uh, this mechanic. As you can see, it has uh, a canvas group and an image component. The canvas alpha uh, changes from 0 to 1 and when it's 1 the screen is totally black uh, but because I set the color to, to be black when it's 0 it's transparent and we will see now how it works in the code. The other component uh, is the falling down barrier. Uh, as you can see it's just attached to an empty object with a box collider 2D. I have some variables like uh, the damage and the player audio, which are uh, totally optional. Uh, they, they work from a game, but they might not be necessary for yours. Here we are in Visual Studio. Two classes are responsible for this mechanic. I named them Fader and Falling Down Barrier. Starting from the Fader, uh, I use the namespace as form of extra protection. You don't need it to use it, it's just optional since it does not add any extra functionality. The class starts with two variables, uh, a canvas group and a coroutine uh, which starts as null. In the wake method, we, we get a reference to the canvas group. Uh, then uh, we got three methods that are responsible for changing uh, the fader alpha value. Eastern fade will change it directly to one. The fade out coroutine will change the value to one within X amount of time. The fade in will do the opposite by changing to zero within again x amount of time. Both coroutine called the fade uh, coroutine that takes as argument the target, in this case either zero or one, and the amount of time to reach it. Then it will check if our current active fade coroutine is playing. If so, it will stop it and assign a new coroutine to it. This is just a way to prevent two fade coroutine from being called at the same time and from being played at the same time. Finally, the fade routine will be called. This, is, this will run until the current alpha value is not approximately the same as the target value. And until then, it will use the math.moveTowards uh, to move the value from the current alpha value to the target value within time dot unscale delta time divided by time. The reason why I use a scale delta time uh, is because uh, this is an independent interval uh, in seconds between the last frame and the current one, which means it's less affected by frame drop and more secure to use. And finally, we just return null. Now we are in the falling down barrier class. Here, if you have used the namespace, make sure that you have access to it by declaring the namespace before the class. In my case, I wrote using saving. In this class, I have option variables like damage and player audio uh, that are not necessary for the mechanic that we are building. So your game might not need them. What is necessary is the reference to the fader and uh, a transform variable for the respawn position. In the start uh, method, we will get uh, uh, the fader component. Then we got an on trigger uh, 2D that will check if the collider is the player. And if so, it will call the Eastern fade uh, on the fader. Then in my case, the player gets uh, uh, damage and then the coroutine uh, go back will start. Uh, this will take as argument the uh, game object that in this case we, we already know is the player so we don't need an extra check because it's already been done in the trigger. Then uh, in my case I call stop everything on the player which is a method that stops the player from uh, uh, dashing and sets his velocity to zero and the animation state to idle. Uh, what you need to make sure is that uh, all these movements are interrupted. Uh, if you're using velocity, the velocity is to zero before changing uh, its position. Then in my case, I play the uh, audio and change its position before calling uh, uh, the fading method after a wait of 0.5 seconds. 
thank you very much for watching uh, if you enjoyed the video please uh, leave a like and subscribe today we also uh, launched our kickstarter you can find it on kickstarter.com in the game section once you click there you just need to scroll down to video games and once you open the page our game will be one of the first or you can just click on sorted by newest any help would be very much appreciated and again thank you very much for watching